Hello my lovely Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope all of you are feeling absolutely amazing. For those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. If you do like this reading, I do encourage you to subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, oh well, by the end of this reading, um, that way you never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Friday. So that's the beauty of subscribing Aquarius to this particular channel is that you always get every Friday without fail two different videos two readings uploaded just for you in your dedicated playlist so I Fifi primarily focus on your personal romantic love life whereas Gigi focuses on other areas of your life such as career studies your finances home family friends travel and everything else in between if romance does happen to show up she'll also explore that as well all right. Um, actually, Aquarius, before I move on, if you do have time today or on the weekend, um, Gigi has already uploaded your reading. It is in your playlist. It is live. So do check that out if you want to focus on other areas of your life. For this week, though, Aquarius, um, I want to focus on the next coming weeks to the next short months, so like two to three months. I'm handing the rain over to my spirit team and for the collective watching this, uh, your spirit team and basically whatever new love messages they want you to know, what you need to know, what are the new love messages, the energies coming your way, what is you know the heads up that you should look out for, is there anyone new coming into your life, do they want to talk about someone that is already in your life or is it someone from your past, I'm leaving it up to them, so here we go. Any love messages, please, for my lovely Aquarius? My water bearers, please. Last one. All right. Everything and anything that Aquarius should know about, please, for their highest good and always for their absolute highest good, please. Three more. Two more. Last one. Excellent. All right, Aquarius, here we go bottom of the deck Ooh, okay this is nice well, let's start with a really positive card as the overall energy we have the eight of wands that is Sagittarius energy and the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck I mean the image already speaks for itself we've got all these messages all coming toward you Aquarius love messages Cupid's arrow and what I love is that the eight of wands is always usually 100% <laughs> the bearer of very good news this might even come from interstate or overseas. This might be someone that is far away from you. You might even be traveling and get this message from someone. But if you know that you're not traveling anytime soon, on its own, this just means movement. We're moving forward. And you might feel a bit overwhelmed. Things are moving fast, but it's nothing you can't handle, Aquarius. Oh, it's the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We've got a passionate, exciting new start we got those butterflies in our stomach. We're excited. We're suddenly feeling like an extrovert. We can take on the world. Yeah, it's time to get excited. It's a good time to be you, Aquarius. The two of pentacles. The oh my God, the chariot. It's about choices, decisions, Capricorn energy. Now, why is it? Despite we have these wonderful, beautiful things coming your way. I, you know, it's almost like, why is it that you need to make a choice about it? And I feel it's because you have a lot going on. See, that two of pentacles tells me when you're trying to balance a lot in your life, like your home, your family, your friends, you're going out, take care of myself. Oh, can't forget the finances, can't forget my business. I, you know, I've got to pay my bills. This really tells me when there's a lot going on and you're very busy. That's why on top of this, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed. It's like, here is a passionate, promising new start. This person could also be somehow connected to any um, passion projects, anything artistic, work, for example. And it's like, oh, wow, do I even have time for this? Yes, you do, because <laughs> we're going to make time because you have the chariot. You got the fastest now moving um, energy. The second one we know is um, eight of wands. And now you've got very strong cancer energy coming toward you. The chariot. There's nothing faster than the chariot. Again, this indicates movement or overseas. This person can be a foreigner, worldly traveled here as well. But this is going to be successful. In fact, this is going to this is a relationship that's going to move very, very fast. And look at that. Oh, my God. Why didn't I see it before? I just put that card down. I saw this. You've got the Empress, the Divine Feminine, all of the queens wrapped up into one, regardless of gender. It's ruled by Taurus and Libra. 
this is the most abundant deck. So notice you've got the most of something, right? The most passionate start. The fastest and the second fastest. We've got big decisions and we've got the most abundant card. There might be children involved or babies. There might be actually a birth very soon. But this is the cornucopia of blessed opportunities. You're literally getting blessed here by the Empress. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Do not worry, this is fantastic. Oh my God. Ooh, and if you meet this person and they're far away, you're like, how's this gonna work? Do not worry, because the chariot is all about that sheer will, that determination. We're gonna make this work. Let's talk about the current energy, please. It's you, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some of you might still be going through, you know, maybe some of the remnants. You might be widowed, separated, divorced, and you're just thinking, I have no time for romance, I'm not interested, so I'm focusing everything on my career. But um, there's going to be a change. It's almost like, you know, your spirit team is saying, okay, look over here because this person is eyeing you out. I don't, I don't think you know this person. Oh, okay. They're going to, it's like they're going to say, okay, enough of work. <laughs> we know you still have to work. You've got other things at other administrations, but look at this person. Let's talk about you. Where are you at now? Yeah, I like this. The King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. In fact, we've got the King and the Queen looking, leaning in toward each other. You are, you're on like, you're on a roll here. I like this. You're really ambitious. You know what you want. You say what you mean, mean what you say. But there is someone that's going to find that very attractive here. I really feel that this person is either a connected to your travels. You might be traveling even for work, but um, there could be, yeah, definitely connected somehow to hobbies, hobbies turned to career, passion projects, employment, creative pursuits here. And they're just finding your ambition, your ideas, your creative, juicy, intelligent brain, very attractive. Let's talk about this person. Nice, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ah, we're seeing love messages coming towards you. This is on its own, a budding romance. Oh my God, but it's gonna be fast. Like this, literally this person's not gonna waste any time. Okay, let's see. When this person sees you, this is always important because I'm, you know me, I like to see people's intentions because if they're not good, we can always avoid it. The tarot shows you the best way to go around it or through it. They're sending you this message. A lot of, they're going to ask you out. I'm just going to say it. Are you free? I'm in town. I'm here. What, what are they planning? Oh, you. <laughs> Why not? We've got you, the star that is strictly ruled by Aquarius. This is destined. This person offers a lot of hope, faith, renewal. It's a card of miracles. There is the North Star. Wow. This is meant to be. You literally are this person's wish fulfillment. You are each other's wish fulfillment. This is nice. The beating heart of your reading, please, is... Ooh, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Out of all four nights, this is the most romantic night. This person will definitely be asking you out. In fact, I see their confidence is building up from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. You also have the King of Wands looking straight at you. They're going to ask you out. There's a lot of romance here. And this person's arrival is going to reignite that spark of love, of romance, of passion as well. Because I see here you've been in your own lane, focusing on other areas of your life. I'm also hearing some of you have been not bitter, but very guarded and almost very angry because of how you were treated by past lovers. And you're like, well, is, what's, is this it? That's, is this it for me? No, this is destined. I feel like the universe is saying, Aquarius, you haven't given up hope. Look what we're giving you. Oh my Lord. All right, what's gonna happen between the both of you? I've got the hermit, the wise sage ruled by Virgo. Both of you have learned massive spiritual lessons in your past. So what is it you're going to do? We're gonna carry the wise sage into this connection. I see that your person is not a player at all. In fact, your person has no problem being on their own. So you as well, both very independent. And during this time before meeting each other, we will be doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of introspection, looking within here. You know, instead of looking outside for the answers, the, the light has always been within you, as we can see right there. The answers have always been here within you. This is, this is so interesting, this reading. Let's talk about hopes and wishes, but also any fears that you have. Five of Swords. And that is Aquarius energy. So I feel here that unfortunately... I don't want to say victim, but you've always been on the receiving end of very selfish behavior of other people where they were stringing you along, false promises, empty hopes and dreams. So I can see that a fear that you have is like, this is too good to be true. What's the catch? They're going to hurt me. They're going to waste my time again. So as a result, we are on guard here. 
Mm. That's okay. I think this is going to be quite healing for you. It's learning to trust again. In the near future, what's going to happen? Ooh, nice. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone that's going to commit to you and only you. You're going to find yourself committing to this person. So it's almost like this person is destined to come into your life to show you that they are not like everyone else. All the other losers that wasted your time here. I feel like a lot of you thought that even past love has just used you. This person is not doing that. This is, this is very grounded energy here. Let's talk about the outcome. Really important here. You know, if we give our heart to someone, if we're vulnerable, is it going to pay off? What's going to happen? It's going to pay off. You've got the full Aries energy. It's the first card of the major arcana and it's so brand new in its cycle that it's unnumbered. Look at that. It's brand new beginnings. It's going for it. Even though we think, oh, ooh, what happens? Is this going to bite me in the bum? It's not. Both of you are going to go for it. Brand new beginnings. After all, we have the Empress that is blessing this. Ooh. And it's going to, this is going to be fast, Aquarius. This is going to be very fast. And it's destined. The star is another card of destiny. I feel like this person is very honest as well. And that's what you need. And sometimes, even when someone tells us the truth, we're like, well, is that the truth? Are you just telling me what I want to hear? No. Two more they're saying. So I'll be using the mermaid tarot here. Here we go. I think these ones are called the Moon Void Tarot. I think. They're, these are available on Etsy. These ones are available anywhere. Go to Amazon or, yeah. I have so many cards, I often forget um, their name. But more messages, please. Two more. This is nice. I actually like this person. They're saying yes. Okay. Ooh, I thought they were going to say no. It's my spirit team. Highlight the messages, please. What else is coming? Oh my God. Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person's going to be very honest with you. This is the true communicator, the ultimate messenger. But the sword is pointing down. This hasn't happened yet. And you got the sun. We are officially in Leo season. This is ruled by Leo. And you got what? The happiest card. Pure joy, bliss, blessings. It's also a return of physical health for you. But I mean you got the most of everything, the fastest and the second fastest moving card, right? The biggest card of wishes, the Empress, the most abundant card and the happiest card. Ooh, okay. This is the card of illumination. There's that eight of wands again. You got the eight of wands at the start with the other deck and now you've got it again. This person is literally going to go out of their way to make sure that um, you get their message, that you pick up that phone. There you are. <laughs> The King of Swords, there you are, Aquarius energy. They want to talk to you. I think you're still suffering. You know what? I have to say this, Aquarius, you're still suffering old wounds from the past. Because we have the Ten of Swords. That's Gemini energy. And look at that. We've got the Eight of Swords, more Gemini energy. And the Two of Swords, Libra energy. You have experienced a lot of deceit, of being cheated on, on the relationship. Actually, really cheated. Like, I'm talking about actual infidelity loss endings separation divorce so sometimes we hold back out of fear what if everyone is the same then i see that's part of your fears here in fact it's overriding the majority of your wishes even though they're coming true this is why you're a bit indecisive what's the catch you know this is too good to be true no it's destined the sun and the empress are blessing this don't forget you've got pretty powerful cards that are blessing this connection the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. There you are, in your own lane, minding your own business. You're a bit of a closed book at the moment toward um, a lot of people. I don't blame you after everything that you went through in your past. Past lovers have repeatedly let you down. And I have to say, it. this might sound really cruel, but I feel like you were too good for them. This person matches you. So at the moment, you're keeping your cards very close to your chest here. You're kind of analyzing, and that's what you do. That You're the ultimate analyzer. You see things that other people don't. And you're kind of analyzing this person. Let's talk about them. Eight of Pentacles, beautiful, more Virgo energy. In fact, you might meet this person. I have to say it again. It's either your studies, your career, your finances, your hobbies, hobbies turned career, passion projects. This is someone that's very serious about this, and they're going to work for it. Less talk, more action. They're going to prove to you that this time, well, no, I'm saying this time, out of everyone else, they mean business. 
So what's that page of cups about? What, 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 what is it that they want with you? Queen of Pentacles came out twice. Wow, this is going to move fast. This is someone that they see you and it's like, I'm going to marry Aquarius. We don't have to get married, but the energy is there right for your taking, right for the picking. The, the star, please, is clarified. Yeah, the nine of wands, you're, you're quite defensive at the moment. Even though that Sagittarius energy, it's on your placement. Your person may have to work. I have to, I'm going to say, I think they're going to have to work double time here to kind of get through to you because you're very guarded. You have reservations here. This is all very closed up energy, I can see. They're still going to fight for you. But what I like is that that's the wounded warrior. The wounded warrior never gives up. Deep inside of your Aquarius, you have not given up on love, on yourself and on other people. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Four of Cups, Cancer energy. Now, even though I, I can see here that uh, you might be a bit melancholic about the past, you might even be feeling a bit flat, a bit deflated here, a bit depressive as well. This card is saying chin up Aquarius, look in another direction because again, this person is eyeing you out and it's almost like, it's not like they want to scare you, like this is going to be a missed opportunity because what's meant for you will always be there for you, but they just want you to enjoy it because I see here that this person's asking you out and some of you are like, what's the point? They're probably going to hurt me. What's the catch? There is no catch Aquarius. The hermit please is clarified. There's that king of wands. They come out twice, see? They're going to take action. In fact, your person doesn't really need a lot of convincing. They're looking to the future now. Um, they know what they want and they want you. This is someone that's going to take control of this situation. It's like, Aquarius, before you say no, let me convince you why I'm here, why I want you so much. Let's talk about you. Is that Five of Swords? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Taurus energy. This image is not nice, but it really is self-explanatory. That represents you. We have issues of abandonment. We're tired of people wasting our time. Then they block us. They might have stolen money from us and they never returned it. They gave us a cold shoulder. And here's your person saying, uh -uh, I'm not like them. I'm sorry that that happened. I'm really sorry, but perhaps we just need to listen to this person. Give this person a chance. See for yourself. This is destined. You have so many cards for this connection and I think you're about to be proved wrong and that is probably a really good way to be proved wrong because this person it's almost like instant love and attraction at first sight we're seeing the queen of pentacles in your near future yeah you're still deciding we got that two of um, pentacles again Capricorn energy it's like do I do I not do I open up my heart do I not mm -mm -mm. I think you're gonna go for it you're gonna go for it we got that page of cups again you're accepting that cup amazing you had the Page of Cups before. Where is it? I know I'm not crazy. I know I saw it. <laughs> Where was that page? Well, we saw the Page of Cups before. But anyway. At least I'm literally going crazy. Did we see the Page of Cups? I know we did. And anyway, let's get back to this. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Page of Cups. There you are. Accepting this person's cup of love. And what I love is that the Page of Cups... Not only does it mean love messages that are fueled by love, that are backed by emotions, this indicates a budding romance. This is a style of something special. It's promising. It's blessed. You're going to go for it. This is promising. It's time to get excited again. Allow yourself to be hugged by this person, to feel special, to be loved because it's coming your way. And this person will be unlike anyone you have ever met or even just romant romantically dealt with. They're not going to waste your time. They're gonna, you're going to see things from different perspectives now. This is beautiful. If I were you, I would say yes. Because this, this, I mean, God, it's being blessed by the sun. Yes, go for it. Aquarius, enjoy this time. This is what I have for you in the next short weeks. Probably to the next short months, two to three months. You're going to end this year on a high note. Absolutely wonderful. I will see you next Friday with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. I wonder if this person's going to show up again. I'll leave it open to my spirit team and your spirit team. I'll see you very soon. Power to you. Bye.